Hi there, Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your January 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, before I begin this reading with you guys, just a few disclaimers that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for the rest of you Aquarius out there. So just keep that in mind. And if you want a more personal reading specific for your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me on my website in the stars by chrissy.com slash services. You can see all um, the services that offer on on that page so um and i do want to first apologize for you guys and i did mention this in the last few signs that um i recently posted starting from sagittarius to pisces i did posted your readings a little bit late it's already almost half of the month so this is like a myth month forecast so i'll definitely make it up to you guys on february as i'm going to start my readings on feb with pisces onto you know onto aries that kind of thing just to make it up to you guys so um yeah stay tuned with that but for now let's focus on january and the things that are going to be playing out for us maybe some of these energies have already played out or it could be that you know some of this are just about to manifest now for aquarius i kind of feel that there is something that is still unfinished in your energy we do have this judgment card and justice all together so it makes me feel that there is a culmination or it makes me feel that you know there is something heavy in your mind it could be a relationship it could be your connection with with a certain person it could be with a particular woman in your life or um you know i really don't see male or female usually in the readings so it could be a man or a woman it could be the partner I just kind of feel that there is a chance that it could be a woman, a special person, whoever that person is. I kind of feel that um, you might be thinking about this person and maybe some f something in that connection, something in that relationship s feels kind of off. And I kind of feel that, you know, not maybe there is a possibility that nothing is happening in that relationship. But at the same time, it's not as if things are progressing as well. So there is a huge stubborn energy that I'm picking up over here. It's like you're not willing to move forward completely. But at the same time, you're also not willing to go back. I do see that, you know, something is going to change in terms of your love life and relationship. I kind of feel that, you know, the scales, the scales is going to tip off. Like if the, if two people are stubborn, like the woman or the man being too stubborn of not contacting each other, maybe, I mean, I don't know. So I'm just assuming that maybe there is a no contact phase happening right now wherein you might be not wanting to reach out and the other person is probably being too stubborn or being in their head, you know, some form of ego-minded attitude that refuses to give in, refuses to, to back down and it kind of feels that you know there is some form of stress right there and something is strained we're in we are all in our guard but i kind of feel that even though with january there could be still an energy we're in 
things are heated up. It's not really heated up in a sense that there is some form of argument because I kind of feel that there is a lack of it. But I kind of feel that, imagine a jar being filled up with water and is coming to a point wherein it cannot save any water anymore. It, it's getting filled up. And something is about to break. That is the energy that I see here. Like something is about to happen. Maybe you are aware of it. Maybe you don't know. But I kind of feel that something is about to progress. About to, to move. Something is being set in motion right here. For some of you guys though, I kind of feel that there is a chance that for some of you, there is a willingness to, to compromise. There is a willingness to, to, to say something despite the hesitation because I kind of feel that, you know, it's, it's a very complicated feeling because it gives me that energy wherein you feel that you want this person. Maybe you... Basically, what is in your heart is different from what's in your head. And the actions that you are taking or not taking is different from what you truly feel. So it gives this very complicated situation that in the that I'm picking up in this reading, basically. I do feel that there is real love here though. There is real emotions and true love, even though that maybe you're not totally pursuing it. It's like you know that you love someone, you are aware of someone in particular in your mind. It could be that you are an Aquarius man watching this video, or maybe, if you're a woman, then maybe you're dealing with an Aquarian man or a very pragmatic and logical man, very stubborn man, and this could be what they are feeling right now towards you. Again, it can be vice versa. I just kind of feel that there is some form of love here, even though it's not being felt in an active way again what is in the heart and the head is somehow different we do see here that in the past there is some form of stubborn nature happening right there we do have the strength card and the emperor card over here maybe you have been reflecting someone has been reflecting someone is in power someone has some form of authority over the situation and maybe there is a tendency that you might feel hopeless because you you don't have any control over things i just kind of feel that maybe you're hiding a lot some of you guys maybe are just you know maybe wanting to get away with things wanting to have a restart maybe there were a lot of things that has happened to you and you just want to get away from all the stress and you want to get your power back and get your energy back so maybe you have a reason why you have taken the actions that you have taken and why what you have decided are the things that you have decided upon you do have your own reasons but i kind of feel that right now regardless of what topic or concern you are in regardless of your own excuses at this time the only thing that i can see here right now is that you have someone in particular in your mind you want to communicate with this person you want to talk and reach out with this person and for some of you 
maybe this is what's in your mind maybe you're thinking or imagining something visualizing something there is a chance that in the near future that you might pursue reaching out with this person but i kind of feel that there is a very conflicting energy here because like i said there is a stubborn energy i do feel though that if there is any form of communication it might happen through maybe the internet or some form of social media that is hugely possible though i'm not really sure if you are willing to go all out in terms of communication because i still feel this the stubborn energy it's like like i said earlier there is so much that you're feeling but what you are expressing in reality is not exactly the same way it makes me feel that you know it's like you love the person you like the person and instead of saying you love them and you miss them you you're going to say hi what's up and just that you know there is a form of a cold shoulder type of message right there it may not necessarily always be cold but it leaves the person guessing what you really want and i kind of feel that for some of you guys you might be trying to resist tr to to connect with someone you might be resisting wanting to communicate with someone for whatever reason i do see her that at the end of the day the more you resist the more things might become complicated for you because you will end up thinking about that person it's like you know the more you resist the urges that you are feeling the more intense you want to make it all happen the more intense you feel on wanting to bringing to bring it in your life or whatever that is you know the more you have the urge to fantasize about that person the more you have the urge to want that person in your life because like i said it's coming to a point wherein there is something that cannot be left alone anymore so i kind of feel that at the end of the day you might be taking action based upon what you feel and what you truly want what you truly want and what you truly feel are you know some form of action is being done right there but i kind of feel that you know maybe not exactly within the month of january but maybe possible for the end of january or february i just kind of feel that for the entire january the focus here is like you know that tipping point that the scale is about to tip off so we are seeing here that you know i do see a lot of longing of wanting to move things forward wanting to make things better there is something that you really really treasure and love there is something that is very important to you that something needs to come together something needs needs to have some form of connection you know it does not always have to be a, a reconciliation or anything like that but just to have a connection with that person again just to to have some form of bonding with that person is becoming important here and i do feel that you might that other person might be waiting for you at the same time the tricky part here that i'm getting here is that 
you do have complex emotions, you know, and I kind of feel that your actions and things that you say are somehow different. And it is not your intention to do this. It's not your intention to manipulate anything or or so. But I kind of feel that if you... Because I just kind of feel here that you're not being completely honest or you are not being very sensitive with the words that you are going to say or the way you communicate things is a bit complicated like maybe the other person doesn't understand you or you maybe come in and out of their life and they have no idea what you're doing and maybe some of them might find it very sketchy so i just kind of feel that you know i fear that your intentions might be misjudged by the other person which can create some form of complications with the connection and the relationship so yes you do might you might communicate with someone but it may not happen in a way that is very smooth sailing so i kind of feel that you know if you can be honest with what you truly feel and just tell them what they the truth basically maybe you're just not used to saying things in a very emotional way but i kind of feel that you may you are not used to the, all those emotions but it does not mean that you don't know what love is all about it does not mean that you don't have true emotions it does not mean that you don't have true feelings because i do see the true feelings over here it's just that the way you express things is a bit different and maybe the other person may not be entirely happy about that so there could be complications as a possibility to that or maybe you do want to connect with this person and maybe you are visualizing things on how you are going to connect with that person but you always end up with this visualization that maybe you guys might just end up arguing and that um, gives you a very complicated feeling of whether you should talk to that person or not so at the end of the day, you know, there is an issue here of you're wanting to move forward, but there is some form of issue in terms of communication. And I kind of feel that the only way to resolve this is to, to really express what you feel in a very honest way, in a way that they are going to understand and, you know, maybe don't try to make excuses and just say things the way that they are i just kind of feel that you know it's like you are being questioned about a yes or no answer and then the answer that you give out is not a yes or a no you give out this complex answer which complicates things i mean i'm saying you but this can be something that you might be experiencing to another person so it could be your partner it could be you or your partner who is doing this but i just kind of feel that there is some form of energy right that like that so at the end of the day though i kind of feel that this is going to create some form of growth in terms of their relationships um there is some form of bonding that is going to be formed the process to get to that growth the process of that um energy the process of being in contact with that person though 
um, I kind of feel that it takes a lot of resolve. It takes a lot of effort to reach some form of compromise. For some of you guys, this could be a point wherein you know you're maybe finding the courage to actually take action and to to put things forward in your relationship connection with a particular person in your life so it's about that having the courage to initiate some form of contact to stepping down your ego and finally maybe apologizing to someone those kinds of things so it can occur in various ways but one thing i am very sure here of is that you are going to act upon what will make you happy as a whole you will be driven to pursue what you truly believe and what will make you happy especially at the second to the last part of january 2020 so there is really definitely going to be some work done in terms of relationships and this is very funny because we do have the moon here in the 11th house with the sign of cancer and the 11th house is the house of aquarius which is all about you know maybe branching out reaching out to someone it's all about success what are your goals in life what do you want to attain and maybe to pursue things not just in a very pragmatic way but to be more empathic and sensitive as well you know maybe use your own intuition uh, follow for follow things of what you truly feel follow your heart so and like it's very funny i mentioned internet earlier which is the 11th house so um yeah it it all correlates there's a lot of growth and eventually some form of challenge is going to be overcome because they kind of feel that maybe your feelings some form of friction in your life recently so and maybe you have been okay by forcing yourself to be okay but you are now at a point wherein happiness is going to be very important to you and you are going to take action based upon that so let's see what is the advice card for Aquarius for January 2020 for those that are in the sign of Aquarius what do they need to know let me get one card here in my box okay so we have here an angel card of Adriana and it's saying here that I'm leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. And that is just very, um, <laughs> just that just completes this reading. It clearly tells us to take note of our intuition and follow through our you know spirituality what is your heart telling you what is your gut telling you about a certain scenario i mean you are aquarius and if you do have strong aquarius in your chart you do have that you know um you have your own approach and things which other people may not be uh, agreeing with <laughs> with your approach with how you reach a certain conclusions but it always will lead you to the right path and it is going to be what is the truth for you as a whole so um yeah there is definitely going to be answers and completions going to be happening 
I kind of feel that whatever questions that you have in your mind that is creating a lot of doubts in you, you are coming to a point wherein you are going to solve that problem by finding an answer, of course. And I kind of feel that this is going to be perfect as you venture out to February, you know. I kind of feel that maybe there's going to be more action and more activity happening as the month of February enters. But for now, the process of getting there is in focus. So take note of your dreams. What did you dream about? Maybe it's telling you something. Or, you know, what are you going to be feeling throughout January? Maybe there is something special about the things that you are um, going to be seeing in that dream. Or maybe if you suddenly feel a sudden calling to do something, maybe it's leading you to what is meant for you at the end of the day. So there is going to be answers for you guys, Aquarius. So... Um, yeah, this is definitely something that can help you to take action with the area of your life that needs some form of boost and robust energy for things to get going and for things to start moving forward as it should. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope that this reading has will give you insight and clarity into your situation. And um, yeah, again, if you'd like a more personal reading with me, just go to my website in the starsbychrissy.com and I'll see you guys again next month. Goodbye.